morning, everybody. I hope everybody's well. And it's a little bit chilly this morning as well, so we've got a heater on in the background just to make sure that the, uh, the fingers work as we're drawing. So here we are, over halfway, number 13. So, yeah, it's all downward from here. Goodness me, it's not going to be long, and this is going to be done. So, okay, 13. I've actually attached it to number 6 because that, that's what... Uh, it says on my little plan. So if we turn it over, you can see I've got this pattern again because it's one on the edge. So I'm going to repeat this down here. That's my first job. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Now, when I say repeat it, I'm only going to do the outer line here. Morning, Marie. There we go. This one. And Susan. So I'm not going to do that one because that one isn't on my piece. But, you know... Looking at this bit here, we did a bit of this yesterday on the other side. And I think this is going to sort of come together about here, isn't it? And join. So I'm not going to do anything with that yet. But certainly for sure, I'm going to come in and do this one. So let's have a little look at it. I'm going to split it up. because Just to make sure. I've got five on the picture I'm looking at. But this one, see, it's a full one. So I'm going to... You know, make amendments slightly so they're all full. Might as well. So let's, let's give that a go. Okay, so I've marked out my spaces. And I'm going to get six in on this one. So I'm pretty used to drawing this now. So I'm coming straight in with pen. And I'm going to add in those lines now here. Gonna go a little bit further that side and one in there. Okay. Alright. And of course, the usual, we're gonna go in here, put a little frame in each one. Just kind of oh, bit of a bird feather there. I wonder where that's come from. In those bits. And into there. Okay. And then this in. I don't know whether I'm actually going to fill those in with ink or leave them. I can decide that later. Okay, so that gives us that one for a bit. So let's put in the centerpiece so I can use that to help me there. That always gives you a little bit extra space or sort of focus as to where we're going, doesn't it? I'll put the lid on my pen for a moment. So a few things I want to do. So here goes, I've got a look, uh, I've got a line coming up here and it's definitely on this line. See how it's, cut? it's actually coming from this one, so automatically put that one in. And then I've got one here, look, so that's coming in, but it's getting a little bit narrower as it goes to the bottom. And I've got one here, so I can follow that one through. And along we go. So that one's a bit thinner. Now I do have here, this section, a little bit of a, a curve there. That looks like it could be a feather. I'm not quite sure. Something going on there as well. But I can focus on that when I do this one, whatever number that might be. It's okay. Let's uh, darken that up a bit. I've got a little line coming over here. Obviously a little tree branch. And coming up to the middle... There's another one, sort of across here. I'm going to put a slightly different angle. And then there's another coming. It's not actually coming down. It's coming from this tree. So, like that. And then further up into this section, I'm going to put one in there. Let's just take that line out. I didn't want that line. Okay. So... Coming from here, we've got this sort of shape, and that comes a little bit further in like this. Let's go up a bit so you can see it. And it goes in there, and then this kind of comes up this way. It goes across, so it's quite a big kind of... I say it's a curl, it's, it's more of a sort of a really sharp kind of curve shape, isn't it? It's very... Pointed and short. It goes around there like that. So I'm following that shape round. That gives me that. Look at that. 
and they're coming from this, almost behind this tree. It's coming kind of up there in front of this one. And it's going behind whatever that is. And up and along. And up and along. And then here we've got a little bit of a sort of shape. I'm going to put a bit of shadow in that. And I want some lines sort of going up. So that definitely gives us a tree kind of feel. So if I rub out the lines I don't want now, which is mostly this one here, we put into help us. And I'm going to get rid of those lines because that's definitely in front of those. And it gives us that shape. So, okay, a bit of shading. And we, we're used to that one there. It's the same as always. And here I'm going to come down and add a little bit on those lines. And just bring a little bit in on the shapes. Again, you can change it afterwards. I'm certainly not doing anything in pen at the minute. Not with this background because who knows where it's going to lead. So we can deal with that when we've got more of it together. Okay. Into those bits. Just sort of giving it a little bit of shape in there. See, it's going along. Along and into that bit, along there, just sort of easing that in. So let's have a little look. There we go. If we look at it with this one, do you know, it might be worth just in pencil, let's just sort of view that and see what it would look like. Maybe, maybe that's going to do it. I don't know. And then this one. Kind of bring it down a bit, maybe to past halfway. Now this, certainly not going to draw that in pen yet because I want to make sure that this point, you know, as you work your way along it to this bit here, because there's obviously a sort of a curve there, isn't there? I want to make sure that that's level. So just in pencil for now and see where that goes. So there you go. There's our little tarp today. It's not too long at all, five minutes at the most. So you know, while you're doing it, just have a bit of a break to yourself, a cup of tea or coffee at hand and just chill out and uh, draw that. Okay, all done. So I will catch you uh, tomorrow for the next one. Just a quick note, if you've got the rose stencil or you'd like to do it and want a bit of advice or a bit of a hand, Kane's going to be doing a live at two o'clock today on the Santangle Facebook group and uh, showing you how to do the actual big bloom. So that should be uh, quite fun. So if you're, if you're around, tune in and we'll see you then. So take care, everybody. Bye. Bye.